guys, welcome back. I'm Matthew from Rapid Seed Box. Sorry I've been quiet lately. I am ready to get back in making videos for you guys. And today I'm going to show the new guys how to get started torrenting. Whether that be on a local PC or a seed box, today I'm going to show you how to get started. But there's something we need to do first, and that's drink some coffee. So, the, what's the first thing that you think of when you think of staying safe in your internet security and staying private online? A VPN, probably. That's at least what I think of when I think of staying safe online. VPN plans can be expensive. That's why I recommend going to rapidseedbox.com, clicking on pricing, and if you click on their Lean Seedbox products, Lean Seedbox products are just a download and upload torrent client that you can grab the downloaded files from when they're finished. The cheapest plan is $8 a month, and that comes with one terabyte of space. That's a lot of space, that's a thousand gigabytes. And if you go down to the very bottom here, it comes with a VPN. So, what did that say at the top? $8 a month. What did that say at the bottom? VPN. Can't beat that, can we? And it's a download client, and it comes with a terabyte of space. What other VPN service do you know does that? So head to rapidseedbox.com, go to pricing, and sign up for a Seedbox plan today to get started doing that. Now if you're new and wanna get started right away on your local PC using a VPN or the VPN you just grabbed from Rapid Seedbox, you can head to deluge-torrent.org, click on downloads, and choose your operating system that you have on your local PC and install the package from there so you can get Deluge started right there. If you're using a Seedbox already, Deluge comes pre-installed on your Seedbox. So you can just go ahead and open it up from your services page. If you're opening your torrent client up for the first time on your local PC, your password's gonna be Deluge for your web UI. And then you're gonna be prompted to change that password. And it's important that you do because everybody's default password is Deluge. So if somebody were to get a hold of your IP address for, for whatever reason and use the password Deluge, they'd have access to all of your actively downloading and uploading files. <coughs> but if you're using a rapid seed box, your password is already changed for you and it's the one that you can find from your client area by default already. So just copy and paste that into your web browser and get started right away. First thing we're going to do is take a look at our preferences. The first thing we're going to look at is our path settings for Deluge and where it downloads to and where it moves the finished files to. So if you're on a premium seed box, you have access to these settings. If you are on a lean seed box, I'm sad to say you probably won't find this tutorial very exciting as you don't ex exactly have access to these preference settings. So moving forward with our Lean Seedbox users or if you're at home and have access to these settings as well, this is where you have Deluge put your finished downloads. You can download to this directory or you can move to a different directory when you're done, such as the completed directory, which would make sense. Moving forward, so if you are a Seedbox user who needs to limit their bandwidth for the month or is on a shared network or if you're at home and have other people using your network, it is really important to take a look at your bandwidth settings and fiddle around with these to see exactly what works best for your network conditions and the type of torrent user you want to be, whether that be a super seeder, a super downloader, or somebody who's just casual and not trying to clog up the system and still have access to other resources and to be able to do other fun things on your seed box. Now for a really deep dive into those settings specifically, I'm going to post the link to our Ultimate Deluge blog post from our website that you can take a look at and it goes through a bunch of the pros, cons, do's and don'ts, and everything that you're going to want to know about how to use Deluge per the settings. And of course, you can always go to our help desk for more information that would be beneficial to you in using Deluge moving forward. So if we skip back to our settings over here, let's take a look at what else we've got. Interface. Let's stop on interface for a second because if you're a local user, this is really important for you. Down here is your port for your web UI path. So if you were to access Deluge using port forwarding from your router, this is the port that you're going to want to port forward to. This is also where you can set a new web UI password. So if you had Deluge before, you can type in Deluge here and confirm a new password. If you are a current Seedbox user with Rapid Seedbox, don't touch this. Now by default, these settings are a little bit different. I've altered the active torrent queue to be something more substantial to what I want for my Seedbox experience, and it's also outlined in the Deluge blog post that I was just talking about. I've set this to a total of 10 active torrents, 8 downloading torrents, and 10 seeding torrents. But we probably won't have a total of 10 seeding torrents as our 
active total torrents is 10. You can read more about why we set this setting in that Deluge blog post that I posted before. So looking directly below that, we're gonna check on the ignore slow torrents. So if a uh, torrent is, isn't necessarily performing very well, it'll skip that torrent and I mean, it'll still download it, but it'll move on to the next torrent and begin the download on the next cycle as well and just kind of leave this one to do its thing. All the way at the very bottom, we have a share ratio reached or a share rotation that we can set. And so if you're trying to meet tracker requirements, this might be something that you want to take a look at next to your bandwidth settings that we talked about before. Tracker requirements are pretty strict sometimes and you've got to upload and download You've got to upload a lot and download a little bit. So I understand meeting tracker requirements for some of you is a very key and crucial thing that you're trying to accomplish by either getting a seed box or getting started using torrents. So take a look at your share ratio and when you want to save space, have it remove the torrent. Or if you want to start another seeding torrent or downloading torrent, make sure that it pauses that torrent. So the next thing that I want to hit is ARR programs and plugins. This is something that is pretty standard for customer support. We get these requests a lot. Um, and, and that's how do you connect sonar, radar, and LIDAR to your download client. And one of the first things that they ask is about Deluge because it's so popular. What you're going to want to do is go to your preferences, obviously. We're here right now. Go to plugins and then enable label, click apply and OK and that will allow you to connect ARR programs to Deluge with the label option enabled so that they can import once the download is finished. Of course, if you are a local Deluge user, meaning Deluge is on your local PC, make sure that once you get to plugins that you hit the web UI option. This is super important. This will be able to give you access to the web and external access outside of your local network. So of course, hit apply and okay once again. Next thing we need to talk about is where you're gonna get your torrents from and how do you download them. Go to archive.org, which is full of free content and free torrents that you can download. Find a torrent file that works for you. So once you've located a file that you wanna download, of course, grab the downloaded torrent file, save it to your Seedbox desktop, your local desktop, wherever. You can either drag and drop the torrent file into this area behind this screen right here and it'll start immediately or you can click on the add button up top there this will bring up this window and you can click on file and find the torrent file that you've downloaded previously or if there was a magnet option there would be a little magnet sitting right there if there's a magnet option you can right click on that magnet and copy the link address click on URL, paste it right there, click add, that will add your torrent and it'll get things started downloading right then and there, right in front of you. You can even set options in this little area right here which will allow you to download to that downloads directory and then move it to the completed directory once it's done. Guys, those are some of the basic settings to get you guys started torrenting if you're using Deluge on a local PC or if you just started out with a seed box, welcome to the Rapid Seed Box family. This should get you guys started with your first seed box experience in torrenting. I'm Matthew. Of course, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you need any help, come over to our support section, help.rapidseedbox.com. We have a ton of documentation there that'll help you guys on your torrent journey or your seed box journey. Of course, stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe, and thank you for stopping by. Happy seed boxing.